guys, uh, welcome back. It's your boy Gavin Sling. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another video. And, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. So, guys, uh, I came across a news concerning a young boy that was recently arrested. And I feel EFCC are not doing their job properly. Of course, you know, we are all excited to hear about Yahoo boys being arrested, of course, and um, be jailed. We have been seeing EFCC platform. It's, EFCC now is almost about Yahoo boys. Firstly, I do not support anything like Yahoo Yahoo, but we should be differentiating Yahoo boys from people who are actually in a relationship with white people woman or white man somewhere so check out this how it was uh, written they said yahoo boy defraud america lady one thousand dollars on tiktok leos are to quara the state this state commissioner of police cp paul disclosed this why parody the suspect before reporters at the police headquarters a lorry on Friday. He said the suspect presented himself to the victim as an America on TikTok, a social media plat platform with the name Howard Adams and defrauded her of 1,000 US dollars. The CP said the suspect later took a step further by luring the victim to fly into Nigeria on January 9, 2023 through the Muritala Mohammed Airport in Lagos. According to him, the victim flew into a lorry in the next day and was received by the suspect before he was arrested based on actionable intelligence. The CP said that the suspect also deceitfully took an unspecified amount of money from the victim before she was rescued by the police operative. He said, for that, that the necessary authority have been contacted for appropriate action. Meanwhile, the rescue victim has moved into a secure custody by the state police pending her return to the U.S. To be completely honest, guys, after reading this whole story, I do not think this is fraud. If somebody can bring someone from America to meet with him in Nigeria, and they saw each other, that is no longer fraud. This is what I am suspecting here. Maybe they were in a taxi and they came across police. Police were trying as much as possible to get them, to get the guy, to extort the guy. Eh? And the guy refused. That was how they are bringing up all those allegations. There is no allegation, there is no substantial allegation here. There is no substantial allegation here. I'm not seeing the suspect claiming to be somebody else and defraud the woman while the woman reported to the Nigeria police. There is nothing like that here. I believe the police are the one bringing up these issues. There are many other people, I have said it before, if someone as a Nigeria is in a relationship with somebody abroad and they physically see Physically, they see there is no like, okay, I'm forming to be somebody else that I am not. That is false pretense. You can see me, I told you my name, and we have met. That is no longer fraud. They are in a relationship. So, are you say, say, saying now that a young Nigerian from here cannot be in a relationship with somebody abroad, be it young or old? So, if a Nigeria is in a relationship with a white person, that means automatically that is fraud. No, that's not fraud. If this guy has a good lawyer, he's going to fight this. And you know Nigeria police, they won't allow that woman to make her statement. They won't allow her to make her statement. So there is something fishy about this. I don't believe this guy is the young guy. They should allow this guy to go. This guy is somebody who is in a relationship. So uh, let's uh, talk about other stuff like... Uh, Whiskey finally decided to reveal the face of his son. And uh, Abdul, we do not know the name yet. 
I do not know the name yet, but it just revealed the beautiful video. But uh, of course, you know, one of the things that social media uh, do is to add controversies into the whole discussion. Someone said, but the other kids won't be happy, especially the grown one on social media. If you ask me, he should also be posting the rest of the kids, at least sometimes. <laughs> at least sometimes he should be posting the other kids as well. So people, you know, this is not the first time people are complaining that Whiskey do not post uh, his first song. And the whiskey do not post even his second song. Whiskey only post the children he has with uh, Jada. Another person said, All that children are still not worth posting, I guess. Your fans just they rant. Instead, make them face reality. Honestly, if you are a child that are in any way in your life, Eh? Seek for validation from your parents, from your dad, or from your mom. F seek for validation or seek for a little bit of love from your dad or your mom. Or require a little bit of something from your dad or your mom. You will want to put yourself in the first son and the second son shoes. They are still kids though, but they will grow up to be like, Dad, my dad, they messed up. I, I know what it means, I know how it feels. This guy, although he pay bills, so we are not saying he doesn't pay bills, so, but he doesn't read uh, the first song and the second song. That is how I just see it. There's no way you're going to uh, try to twist it, or maybe it will be formal. Of course, you get a lot of fans though, but that doesn't mean you are not going to say the truth. What's on our mind? We will talk. Me, I will talk with you in my mind. And me, while you talk to us as well. The other day, I talked about uh, David O. And there will be Franklin who posted their uh, old tattoo David O's uh, song's name on his arm. And uh, I was kind of like saying it wasn't correct. It was it was wrong. You guys are failing to grab what I've been trying to say for a very long time. For those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know this channel is a discussion channel. What? There, there will be no fun in this channel when I will just say everything and you will just believe me. Or I will have the whole opinion. No. I have my own opinion and you have your own opinion. If you are looking for uh, a, a news channel out there, who doesn't really require you to bring your own opinion they just tell you boom this is the actual truth then you go to Chinese TV or CNN or BBC and listen to them here we go definitely catch rules there is no professional here I am not a professional it's just a reaction video mm? so for me I forget to whiskey no rate to other children meanwhile you can also leave your comment as well Mm -hmm. Leave your comment as well. But such a beautiful, adorable kids. Uh, big one to this kid, you know. And also, David is making the news again. You know, yesterday he decided to show his fans a little bit of what he has been doing with the trauma, getting a tattoo, and uh, other things are following him now. Hmm. Can you imagine, guys? So there is this uh, David O's mother-in-law that is uh Sina Rambo's wife mother who is calling out the video and saying if anything happened to her daughter David o should be held responsible according to what she wrote um i am going to read it she said for clarity on my post and for those saying i post an old post for firm or clown the post was sent to me yesterday and i posted after several calls to see the rumble as to why he would send his chat with his cousin threatening my daughter to my family member. My call were declined by Sina Rambo. I want the whole world to know that if anything happened to my daughter, 
David, though I really care, should be held responsible as he has threatened to deal with my deal with her. My daughter is a German citizen by birth and nationality, and I am tagging everybody, including the bloggers, to come out and present proof that my daughter insulted or called Choma out directly. I have so many threat messages to my daughter, which we have ignored over a couple of days, but this time we are not ignoring this. As a mother, this time I am not ignoring any threat to my daughter. I want the whole world to see this. We have had enough and nobody will take my silence for granted. That means in this in Arambo's uh, divorce, eh, the mother-in-law is full behind her daughter that they should get a divorce. You know, there is this message. There was something that was posted by Sinarambo's wife, ex-wife, almost ex-wife, about Choma. Someone was trying to compare her to Choma, and she immediately shut it down. So I think David Doe was pissed about that. That was why David Doe decided to message Sinarambo's wife. If now, this is what David o said. She said, "How can she bring trauma? How how can she be bringing trauma? Person that is money, and she no even talked. She and she not even talking to her. And I sent to you, and you just keep him mute. I'm going to deal with her. Someone that has lost a child." You mentioning her. So David Doe wasn't happy that uh, the lady was mentioning Choma's name. And uh, David Doe reached out to the husband and said, How can she be bringing Choma to this discussion? Choma that is money, and you are keeping mute about it. <laughs> you know, the whole issue will bring uh, Wahala core family. You understand? But uh, it's all good though. I think they can definitely undo it. After all, they still have fathers who will definitely call them to order. And there they were, you know, just need to calm down and don't need to do this thing. And guess what? Uh, Kanye West is reportedly just uh, got married recently. Kanye West that we thought was missing. You know, say, my guy just be live the life, he just be married, he enjoy himself. Well, it's all good though. At least you can see it's not passing through any difficulty because I believe any man that he has power to still be with a woman, I don't think that man is passing through any difficulties. So big up to uh, Kanye West who recently got married. And to end this video, let's talk about Yomi Kajua. Well, some fans were already insinuating that because Yomi Kajua, the popular killer, uh, because he's hanging out with uh, that of Alex Kumbo and the rest. So people thought yeah, yeah, Yomi Kajwa is a gay. How can you be thinking Yomi Kajwa is a gay? But guess what? The person who quickly uh, came for his rescue is his wife. He said, I want to address those of you tagging and sending me DMs consigning a very disrespectful assumption and the indirect rumor against my husband's personality and my household to please talk. Even if most of you enjoy seeing all that go down, I think it's too early in the year to subscribe to all these super stories designed to work on your minds and create unnecessary trend and engagement. With the permission of my husband, I am, I am daring the so-called bloggers and anyone of you who insinuate to know too much to bring out proof that confirms your me is gay, I speculated with that fact by your devilish camp within 24 hours. <laughs> they say your mechanical is gay. They call say they angered with Alex. That means uh, they are Alex and the rest, they chop up from behind. Come on, man. Yeah? You guys should know where to take this matter to now. I'm going to leave your mechanical alone. Yeah? So guys, I think that should be all. Thank you very much for watching. Support your channel. Catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Bye.